Yeah, it's been a good process. Uh, it's been a three-month process. We picked the team at the end of Cubs Week, which was uh, at the beginning of January. So the guys have really worked hard over the last three months to get themselves fit and well-conditioned. Uh, the results that came through at the beginning of the camp is that this is the fittest under-19 team to ever leave the shores of the country. Uh, and in terms of setting new standards, I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with the guys. From a camp point of view, uh, we've had a lot of cricket. We've worked a lot on skills. And what's good is that the guys coming out of cricket season, they're, they're still very cricket away and cricket sharp. So the tour going to Bangladesh is, is obviously important in that we've got the World Cup coming up in January, which is in 10 months time or nine months time. And uh, we need to make sure that uh, we get used to the conditions, we understand the culture of the place, and uh, we see the venues where we're going to play. I think for us, we, we've prepared physically and mentally. I think we, we are the fittest under-19 group that's come to the system. I think we do a lot of mental sessions with Tim Good enough, and I think guys contribute enough, and everyone is buying into the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is we, they're going to be going out there to the World Cup beginning of next year, and we need to start understanding that now is the beginning, beginning of the process, and that's what it's going to take. The hard yards that we put in now is going to be into, into the process of getting to win that World Cup again. So that's the, the whole bigger picture. I'm looking to uh, sort of lend a helping hand to the, to the younger players who can qualify for the World Cup. I'm obviously going to be too old, but it's a good chance for the guys to get used to the conditions where they'll be playing in the next World Cup, and hopefully we can look to defend our title. But yeah, it's a, it's a good opportunity for the guys to get a head start, I think, in the title defence. Apparently it's quite tough in Bangladesh. There's lots of traffic and, and stuff like that, and um, I think our team will do quite well over there, and hopefully I can put in a few performances for them and take them over the line and win the series. I think from this talented group of young men, I think I just expect a lot of heart. I think that's been the chatter from all the nights. I think last night we spoke about understanding what it means to, to play for S under 19 and the culture that comes with that. So I think for me, it's just to see how the boys go out there and grind. We know it's going to be a tough tour. It's going to be hot. But I think the boys are bonding well and we're going to see a lot of fight. And we all look up to, to the protests and they're all about the protein fire. So we're trying to keep that burning from a young age. And yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. I think in transferring culture and transferring skills of, of what SN19 is about, it's important that uh, senior players are around these young players to, to just tease them so that on the way forward, uh, the culture gets transferred, the values of the team get transferred. So uh, basically, we'll try to give everybody an opportunity. We wouldn't have taken the senior players if we're not going to play them. Uh, and what's exciting is that uh, it's not only these players that are going to Bangladesh, that have been in the mix in terms of uh, our performance program and how we followed and traced them. Uh, we've got 15 other players that we're monitoring and with the inbound tour happening in July, uh, it's important that we'll give as many players an opportunity as possible.